The House Judiciary Committee is set to vote on a resolution today that would allow lawmakers to hold hearings related to impeachment. Mm -hmm. So the, it's not articles impe of impeachment, it's not impeachment, it's related to, what is going on? <laughs> Some of the media is saying, it's hard to know what we are doing here. That's exactly what I wanna know. What are we doing here? We're so, we're so in fantasy land here, nobody knows what's going on. It's like a Seinfeld hearing, it's a hearing about nothing. Some call this process an impeachment inquiry. Some call it an impeachment investigation. It's reckless and dangerous for the committee to start impeachment proceedings when there's nothing to impeach the president on. I dare you to do it. In fact, I double dog dare you to do it. And what we have seen over the past six months is an embarrassment. And if you want to know what an abuse of power truly looks like, it looks like what's unfolding right now. This will be would be thrown out of court in any legitimate court. And yet they're acting in such a reckless fashion just to appease the radical left base. Who wants to impeach the president, even though there's nothing to impeach him on? But everybody else in America says, do your job and focus on the things that are in front of you. And drop this daily harassment and drumbeat of impeachment and witch hunts. So it's early, it's 8 o'clock, the popcorn's on, and as I've said, let the show begin. That judgment cannot be based on our feelings about President Trump. This committee wants to be above the law. The American the people understand members that members speak very differently about it. It's not, uh, you're the only ones who are uh, selling this. Uh, That's not true, man. It, it, it isn't true. The, uh, look, I travel the entire country. Uh, come with me sometime, and you'll hear what the American people are saying. They understand that, it, that impeachment is a very divisive measure. But if we have to go there, we'll have to go there. But we can't go there unless we have the facts. They like the facts, and they know it. Instead of focusing on the opioid crisis or keeping families safe at the borders or rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure or lowering prescription drug prices, they've been busy on this committee pursuing a faux impeachment, a fake impeachment. What I mean by a faux impeachment, it's absolutely not happening. It's a charade. But we don't want to fix that problem because the committee's focused on impeachment. So we'll see what they do, but the American people are watching too. And the American people are tired of those kind of games every single day, focusing their energies and taxpayer dollars on attacking the president, on attacking his family, on attacking his cabinet members, people who did business deals with him 20 years ago that are getting subpoenaed, that have nothing to do with his presidency just because they want to harass the president because they don't like the fact that he was duly elected. In fact, what's really interesting though, is very disturbing to me is the whereas clause in the second paragraph when it admits that the Russian government interfered in the 2016 election, yet we've had no hearings and no bills brought forward in this committee that deals with that issue.